everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm bringing you a compilation of some of my past Easter DIY treat ideas and packaging ideas. These are great for your friends, your family, your co-workers, your Bible study group. I got a lot of great ideas. I hope you stick around. Thank y'all so much for being here. I really appreciate it. Okay, with this one we're going to take a 12 by 12 piece of cardstock and we're going to cut it into six equal pieces. So your pieces are going to be six inch by four inch. I saw a lot of these on Pinterest, but I'm going to put my own spin on this one. Okay, now I'm going to take my 6x4 piece of paper and a 1x4 piece of cardstock and some double-sided tape. And I'm going to go down the 6-inch side on the top and the bottom. And then I'm going to go down the 4-inch side on one side. And we're just going to make a sour cream container. Okay, and then go ahead and remove your two top and bottom pieces of tape before you put your side piece on. And then just run one right down the side. And then we're going to make this into a cylinder. So just kind of roll it over. Don't bend it. Just kind of roll it over and then put that other side over the top part there. Then we're going to go ahead and flatten down one side. We're going to add our candy and then we're going to flatten down the opposite side going the opposite way. And if you see any white hanging over, you can just trim that off with your scissors. Then I'm going to take my crimper. I'm just going to go in and I'm just going to roll four times on this. And you want to do it on both sides. Okay, next I'm taking a one by four piece of cardstock. I'm going to fold it in half and then I'm going to smooth it out. And then I'm going to cut it in half. And I'm going to add a piece of double sided tape down to the bottom of both of these pieces. And then I'm going to cut them into like little slivers of grass. I'm just going to start cutting them at one end. Just keep cutting them until you get them into like little slivers so they look like grass. And I'm just going to attach them right to the center of my, um, can my container. On both sides. And just kind of fan them out a little bit to open them up. And then I'm going to take my hole punch and I'm just going to punch two holes because I'm going to run a piece of jute right through here and I'm going to tie it off in a bow. Okay, next I'm just coming in with these little wiggle eyes. I got these at Michael's and I'm just going to add two little eyes, a nose, and then I'm going to put some whiskers. And that's just a little pom-pom. And then we're going to draw on our little whiskers. All right, he turned out super cute. Let me know in the comments which one of these is your favorite. For this next one, I'm just going to use a 6 inch by 3 and a half inch wide um, paper bag. I'm just going to mark it right in the center at 3 and a half inches down. Then I'm just going to take my bunny ears and draw them. And then I'm just going to go ahead and cut these out. And go ahead and open up your bag. I'm just going to put some little um, crinkle paper in here just to kind of give it some um, body in here. And then I'm just going to pour in some candy. And I'm just going to use some little um, cookie eggs. And go ahead and squeeze it shut. Go ahead and draw in each side of your ears. And then I'm going to take a rubber band and put it around the whole entire thing just to hold them together. And go ahead and kind of separate them out and, you know, kind of get them spaced out and shaped up there real well. Then I'm just going to cut a piece of paper craft paper. It's about two inch by four inch. I'm just going to cut this into the shape of an ear. And I'm just going to glue these right on the front part of each of these ears. Kind of like an inset into the ear. These are real quick and easy. And they don't cost a lot of money in candy because you can fill them with paper and kind of give it a little bit of depth. Go ahead and tie a ribbon around the ears. Don't tie it too tight because you don't want to squish them. And then we're going to come back in and we're going to add a little face. Now I've got these little wiggly eyes again. I'm just going to go ahead and glue these right onto the front part to give a little bit of character to this little bag. I'm going to add a little pom-pom for the nose. And then I'm going to add a little bunny um, tail for the back. All right. And then I'm just going to draw a couple whiskers on the front of it. And that one's pretty much done. Look how cute those came out. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Okay, hey, for this next one, I'm giving you a link to this pattern in the description below. You've got it got in SVG and in um, just regular PDF to hand cut. I'm just going to take one out of craft paper, one out of felt, and I'm just going to go ahead and glue them together. 
Just make sure you get them glued all the way in, all the way around. And the little slits in the middle of them, that we're going to put a sucker through there. So you're, if, you cut, if you're cutting it with the SVG, that, those lines will cut out as well. If you are hand cutting it, just take an X-Acto knife and just slice those open. If you hand cut this, I would go ahead and attach my craft um, paper to my felt and cut them out as one unit. Okay, next we're going to add our sucker. Just going to come through the back, stick it in there, take your ribbon, and go ahead and wrap it around there, and then run your sucker all the way back through the, that. You want to cover up the sucker um, stem with your ribbon. And then we're just going to tie this in a bow right in the middle. And that was pretty much it for that one. These were real quick and easy. You can make a lot of these in a, in a short amount of time. And then just cut off your excess ribbon. Okay, those turned out super cute. You can make them in any color. Okay, next I'm going to take the one half pound little rabbits from the Dollar Tree. I'm going to open them up. I'm going to clean them up a little bit and I'm going to put them in a clear bag. This is a great way to change the presentation of just a little Dollar Twenty-Five candy bar because it is a full half pound bar. And I'm just going to go ahead and take a paper towel and I'm going to wipe off all the little um, shavings that are all over the bunny on the front and the back and then I'm not going to touch it with my hands because I want to make sure I don't get any fingerprints on it and then I'm going to go ahead and put it into a cellophane gift bag. Okay next I'm just going to tie the top up and put a rubber band around it and then I'm going to come around and put a ribbon around the right underneath where his head is right through the middle of his body. I'm just going to tie a bow right there. This really does dress this up a lot. You know, for a $1.25 piece of chocolate, it really does make it look a little bit more classy. Then I'm just going to take some little flowers. I'm just going to cut the stems of them off, about four or five of them. And then I'm just going to stick them right down underneath that um, ribbon. Then I'm going to come back in and I'm going to cut the bottom off so that they're even. Next, I'm going to take a little baker's twine. I'm going to attach a tag. And I'm giving you these tags. You can print them in the download below. And I'm just going to tie it right around the top. All right, there you have it. These turned out really super cute, easy to make. This one, I just got some um, boxes of peeps. And I got some different colors of them, and I'm just going to take a pink one, a yellow one, and a blue one, and I'm just going to put it on a little um, barbecue skewer, just kind of alternating, and I can get three of them in one of those little bat, one of those little pretzel bags. And they are opening up a little bit on the side, but you can kind of squeeze them shut, or if you want to, you can put sprinkles on them. But it really still, once you got it all in the packaging, it really didn't show that bad. And just go ahead and take one of the pretzel bags and just go ahead and put them in. And then I'm just going to take some ribbon, tie off the bottom. And I'm just going to tie it in a bow. And then I'm going to take some um, baker's twine and I'm going to attach a tag to it. Now I'm going to give you the link for the um, tags below. You can just download them and print them out. And then just go up underneath that bow in the back part and tie that off. These would be great for a classroom. You can make a lot of these in no time. And they are so colorful and cute. Look how cute those are. Okay, for this next one, I'm just going to take these um, triangular bags. And I'm just going to fill these with fish crackers. Now, it doesn't take a lot to fill these up. You can fill a lot of bags with this one box. And then I'm just going to tie those off with a rubber band. Okay, next I'm just kind of breaking up the fibers of a three by three and a half piece of cardstock. And I'm just going to cut slits all the way down to about a quarter of an inch from the end, from the bottom of them. And then I'm just going to wrap these right around the top here. And I'm just going to tie these off with a rubber band. I'm taking some orange and white um, checked ribbon, or it's kind of orange and cream colored checked ribbon, and I'm just going to tie a bow right across the top part of it. And then I'm just going to cut off the excess. So I'm coming in with these little bunnies I got at Dollar Tree. I'm just adding a 3D glue dot to them. I'm just going to attach them right to my bag. It turned out so cute, and they are so colorful. This next one, I'm giving you the pattern in the description below. Go ahead and cut them out. And we're just going to start gluing them on. We're going to make little rabbits. Put the smaller part of the circle upward. And I'm just using the same three and a half by six inch bags, paper bags. Just get them glued on good. And then go ahead and attach your little ears. We're just going to kind of do them at a diagonal on both sides. And kind of do them together so you can make sure you get them lined up together. Just right there. 
almost like a flip-flop. Then just go ahead and add your little tail. And then go ahead and open up your bag and we're going to fill it about um, one third full with the little crinkled um, paper. Then I'm just going to go ahead and take some sweet tart jelly beans and I'm just going to pour them in. Just as, however many you want. I poured quite a few in. Then just going to go ahead and fold off the top. And then I'm going to give you the link for these tags down in the description below and we're just going to attach it to our bag. We're going to go ahead and take some ribbon, punch two holes at the very top. And then we're going to run our ribbon through it. Now I offset these a little bit because I'm going to put my tag on the opposite side. Okay, then just a little, add a little tag with like a decorative paper clip. Pretty easy. Let me know what you think in the comments below. This one, I'm giving you the pattern in the description below. You're just going to cut two of these out, and we're going to start gluing them together. We're going to leave the middle section of the bottom open. So just make sure that you glue all the way around and get it sealed in real well. And then we're just going to leave the very bottom section open. Okay, next we're just going to open up the bottom there and just go ahead and add some M&Ms. And then we're going to go ahead and seal it up. Now to get into this, if you're wondering how they're going to get into this, they can just do a little slit in the very, very back of this um, to open it up or they can just cut the bottom of it off. Next I'm just going to add a little pom-pom to the back and I'm just going to tie a, a bow around the front. And then I'm just going to take one of those decorative paper clips and just clip that little tag on there. How cute that is. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. These are all super easy and quick. You can make a lot of these. And they're very inexpensive to make. Okay, for this one I'm going to use some almond bark and I'm going to use a bunny mold. Go ahead and put it on a cookie sheet and go ahead and fill up the cavity with M&Ms. And I got this at Hobby Lobby. Next, I'm going to take some um, white almond bark, and I'm just going to go ahead and put six squares in it, melt in the microwave for two minutes. Then I'm just going to start filling up my cavities. Don't fill it so full that it goes all the way to the top because you don't want them that thick. Then shake them down and make sure they're full and put it in the freezer until it sets. Next, I'm just going to go ahead and start taking them out of my mold, and then I'm going to show you how I'm going to package them. I'm just going to take some of the pretzel bags, and I'm just going to put four of them down inside of this bag. And this is a perfect size bag for this. Then I'm just going to take some uh, ribbon, tie it around the top part of it, and tie it in a bow. And then I'm going to go ahead and take a little rabbit that I got at uh, Dollar Tree. I'm just going to put some double-sided adhesive tape on the back of it. And I'm just going to put it on the front. Kind of dress it up a little bit more. All right, there it is. Pretty easy. Let me know in the comments which one's your favorite. Okay, for this next one, I'm just going to use nine squares of the almond bark. And I'm just going to melt it down for two minutes. And I'm just going to make some almond bark candy with this. And then I'm going to go ahead and take some parchment paper, cover a cookie sheet, and I'm just going to pour my um, chocolate right on top of here. And then I'm just going to spread it out. You don't want it too thin that you can see the paper through it, but you kind of want it thin enough. Then I'm going to come in with some little... Um, eggs, some little robin eggs, and I'm just going to kind of randomly put them on here. And then I'm going to come in with some sprinkles, and I'm just going to sprinkle the entire top of it. And then you want to go ahead and put this in the um, freezer and let it set up for about 10 minutes. Okay, next we're just going to go ahead and start breaking it apart. Now, I broke it apart by hand, and some of my little... Um, eggs came off of it so I went back and got a knife and I'm just going to cut it with a knife and that way you'll make sure that your little eggs stay on there and just kind of cut it into little pieces and then we're going to go ahead and package it and I'm just going to take a little Dollar Tree crate I'm just going to take one of the little Dollar Tree um, bunnies and I'm just going to glue it right on front then I'm just going to take some plastic bags I'm going to set them down inside of it just to kind of make sure that it's molded into the shape when I put it in there and I'm just going to fill it full. And I had enough to make three of these that had that were pretty generous amount of candy inside of them. Okay, and I just tied off the top part of mine with a rubber band, and then I'm going to come back in with a ribbon and just tie it around the top part. All 
All right, these are pretty simple, but they turned out super cute. Let me know what you think in the comments. Okay, for this one, I'm just going to take a foil lined cookie sheet and I'm going to take some um, saltine crackers and I'm just going to line them up. And you want to make sure you line them up to where they touch. And go ahead and fill your whole sheet full. Okay, then next I'm going to take two sticks of butter, one cup of um, packed brown sugar, and I'm just going to put them in a saucepan and I'm going to cook them. Now I'm going to start these on medium and you need to start getting them melted down. And then when they come to a boil, you need to cook them for five minutes. Just keep stirring them until they are completely um, heated up. And then when you do the five minutes, you want to make sure you constantly are, are stirring it. Then go ahead and spread the whole mixture onto your saltine crackers and cover them up completely. And this is kind of like a caramel is what it ends up being. Okay, next I'm just going to take um, nine squares of the white almond bark and then I'm going to melt it in the microwave for two minutes. Okay, next I'm just going to go ahead and cover the entire um, caramel mixture with this white almond bark. Just make sure you get it completely coated. And then I'm just going to take some sprinkles and I'm just going to cover the entire thing with sprinkles. This is a real quick and easy one and it really does taste great. And I got these little um, sprinkles at, at Kroger. And then go ahead and tap it down and put it in the freezer and let it set up. Then go ahead and remove all your foil and then we're going to cut it into pieces. And I'm just going to take a knife and go down and cut it into little pieces, probably about um, maybe an inch and a half to um, two inches. And then I'll show you how I'm going to package these. I'm just going to take some cellophane bags. I'm going to stick it down in a little bunny cup that I got at um, Dollar Tree, and I'm just going to fill it full. This one goes a long way. You can make a lot of these with this one batch. And I'm just going to tie a rubber band around the top part. And then I'm just going to tie a ribbon on it. All right, look how cute those turned out. Okay, for this next one, I'm just taking a um, parchment covered cookie sheet. And I'm just going to take these square pretzels and I'm going to line them up and fill up my tray with them. Then I'm going to take some white chocolate melts. I got it at uh, Michael's, and I'm just going to put one on each one of these. And then when I get it completely full, I'm going to put these in the oven under 275 degrees, and it took about maybe 10 minutes for these to melt down. Okay, once they melt, then we're going to go ahead and start putting some sprinkles on them. And don't worry about getting sprinkles on your, um, on your paper and wasting it. We're going to use those in another project here in a little bit. Just get them completely covered with sprinkles and then come back in and add an M&M right in the center of them. And then you're going to put this in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Next, I'm just going to take some of the same pretzel bags I used earlier and I'm going to put seven of these in each bag. This made quite a few with this one batch. And then I'm just going to take a ribbon and tie it around the top part. These would be great for co-workers or classrooms because they are quick and easy to make. All of these today that, uh, that I'm doing were pretty quick and easy to do. And then I'm going to come back in with one of the little Dollar Tree little chicken wooden chickens. I'm putting double-sided tape on it and I'm just going to put it right in the middle. All right, look how easy those are and how cute they turned out. Okay, for this next one, we're going to use three cups of Honey Nut Cheerios. We're going to use five cups of Rice Check cereal. And then we're going to use two cups of pretzels. And you can use any kind of pretzels you want. Just go ahead and break them up in pieces. And then we're going to get it all mixed together as soon as we finish doing that. And you want to make sure you mix it well. And then I'm going to take a full 24 ounce of almond bark. I'm going to cut it up in the cubes and I'm going to put it in the microwave and melt it 
for two minutes. Okay, then we're just going to pour the mixture completely over the cereal mixture and we're just going to mix it in good. You want to make sure that you do evenly coat the entire thing. And then I'm going to start putting some M&Ms and you can put as many M&Ms as you want to, but go ahead and do it after you've done the white chocolate because otherwise the white chocolate will, or the almond bark will cover up the M&Ms and you won't see them as well. And then the rest, the leftover of the stuff that we had from the other video, I'm just dumping that in there to use that as up as well. Then I'm going to take two um, cookie sheets covered with parchment paper and I'm going to evenly distribute it between the two and I'm going to spread it out. Then go ahead and put it in the um, freezer and let it set up for about 10 minutes. Then I'm going to go ahead and put sprinkles on it before I do that. Just kind of cover them up pretty good. And then freeze them. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and break them up into little pieces and then I'm just going to package them into like a little triangular shaped um, bag. And kind of put the little smaller pieces on the bottom or kind of put one in there and then just kind of squeeze it up a little bit and it'll start going down to the bottom. Then I'm just going to take the rubber band and tie it around the top part. And then I'm just going to tie a ribbon around the top. These made quite a few with this one batch. And I'm going to take a little tag and I've given you the link to that in the description below. You can download it and, um, and print them and cut them out. And then I'm just going to attach it around the top part. These are pretty quick if you have a lot of people that you need to make them for, like a classroom. See how cute and colorful those are? Anybody would want to get one of those. This one, we're going to take a microwave safe bowl. We're going to put three tablespoons of butter in there. And then I'm going to take five and a half cups of the little mini marshmallows and put them in here. And then you're going to melt it in the microwave for a minute. And then go ahead and grease a um, cupcake pan because we're going to use that to push these into. Once you've uh, melted that for a minute, stir it up. And then I put it back in there for one more minute. That's all it took. It just depends on what your altitude is, how fast yours, it, how fast yours melts. But go ahead and stir it up really well. And then go ahead and put your um, Rice Krispies in there. And that's six cups of Rice Krispies cereal. Just make sure that you mix it up real good. Now I'm going to show you what I did and show you ways that you can do it a little bit easier. If you let that set and cool off just a little bit, it's a little bit easier and it doesn't stick to your hands as much. And then I finally figured out using two spoons worked, but I'll show you what I did that really worked. If you just take a, about a teaspoon of butter and rub it into your hands and get your hands good and greased up really good, you can make this go faster. It just really kept it from sticking to your hands if you put butter on your hands. And then go ahead and mash them all the way down in there into the pan so that they get the shape. And we're making little nests, little bird's nests. Then I'm going to take each one of them out and I'm going to push the middle down a little bit farther and I'm going to pull the sides up a little bit more to make it more like a nest. Okay, next I'm going to go ahead and take four pieces of almond bark and melt it down in the microwave. And I'm going to go ahead and take my little birds and I'm going to separate them with a knife. Now this was the easiest way so that they came out a little bit cleaner. Okay, then I'm going to take my chocolate and I'm just going to put it down the sides where I pulled those apart and on the bottom. And I'm going to attach this to one of the little Rice Krispie nests. And then I'm going to put some little sprinkles on both sides like he's setting in a little nest of grass. And I'm going to do that to all of mine. Next, I'm taking some of the Dollar Tree muffin pans. And I'm going to put six of these in each pan. Now, you can wrap these individually if you want to. But I'm going to give six of these at a time. And then I'm just going to put this in a plastic bag. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the excess. And then I'm going to take some tape and tape it underneath on the back side. Okay, then I'm going to come in with some ribbon and I'm going to tie it around the entire thing. And then I'm just going to tie it off in a bow. And then I'm just going to add a little tag to it. And I've given you those down in the description below. You can print them out. And I'm just going to attach it with some um, baker's twine. And that was pretty easy. These are great for co-workers or, or somebody like that you don't have a lot of people to give to. Okay, for my last one, I'm just going to bake some cupcakes. And then I'm going to decorate them with a number two decorative tip. Like a little star tip. And I'm just going to squeeze it right out into the center of these. 
and then I'm just going to top them off with some sprinkles. Okay, and then to package these, I'm just going to take a cellophane bag, and I'm going to put some little um, grass in there, some paper grass. And then I'm going to add a little cup, and I got these cups at Dollar Tree. There, you get 12 of them in a pack. I'm just putting my cupcake right down the middle. I'm going to put a straw right in the center, and then I'm going to put it in my bag. This is a great way to package individual cupcakes so that because they don't get um, messy everywhere. And I'm just going to add a rubber band right around the top, and then I'm just going to tie a ribbon around it. All right, just that easy. See, and look how cute those come out, and they're not a mess. They're already individually wrapped, so if you're having a party or taking them to a party, it's perfect. If you like these kind of videos, give me a like. If you want to see future videos, be sure and subscribe, and ring that bell to be notified when I have a new video upload. Thanks for watching. I appreciate it.